Rural Heritage on RFD TV is brought to you by Rural Heritage Magazine, a bi monthly magazine featuring articles about farming and logging with draft animal power, small scale diversified family farming and homesteading, and other aspects of our rich rural heritage. Rural Heritage Magazine, borrowing from yesterday to do the work of today. For subscription information, please call 319 362 3027 or order online at www.ruralheritage.com. Hi, welcome to another episode of Rural Heritage on RFD TV. Last week we spent some time with Lehman's founder, Jay Lehman, looking at some of the items in his vast antique collection. This week we go back and look at some more, including some of the bigger pieces he has, like a wooden threshing machine, a Model T Ford automobile, a Rumley oil pull tractor, and much more. Jay Lehman has established a retail company that began as a store, moved into catalog mail order, and is now thriving in internet sales. But while he's glad to incorporate new technologies, he remains nostalgic about the past. People worked pretty hard back in the day, didn't they? Yes, they did. People worked very hard. Nowadays, uh, uh, people don't appreciate hard work anymore. They like to sit behind a desk, behind a computer, um, and uh, uh, hard work is where they got us where we are. Uh, and that doesn't seem to be, doesn't seem to be the case anymore. Uh, what was made many years ago, uh, is, is much better quality, and uh, is made with, with with some pride. Whereas nowadays, you just make it quick, get it get it out and sell it. Like when you, when you see pictures of the old stoves that we traded on, they were beautiful. They were the people who made them had great pride in making them. And the, the stove that they bought to replace this was just a plain old plain box. There was nothing original about it. Uh, so actually what they traded in uh, it will be around for a long time yet. But what they bought is probably junked already. Yeah, it's amazing what they made. Like, for instance, that old uh, Rumley tractor that we have outside. It's over 100 years old. And it still works as good as the day we bought it. And uh, the, the people who made that took great pride and making everything nice, and make it last a long time. We don't see that anymore. They, it's a throwaway uh, uh, economy now where you, you buy stuff made quick, wear it out, and buy another one. I'm gonna pump up some gas. Uh, locally, it was used for belt power. Uh, out west it was used for, in the fields for plowing. Uh, it was not used around here in the fields much because the fields were too small. Uh, it was too big and clumsy. Uh, for instance, uh, when you turn the steering wheel all the way to the right, and then want to go all the way to the left, you have to spin the steering wheel 76 times. So you don't want to be turning around all the time. So the only place it was used in, in fields is where the fields were very long out west. Here it was used mostly in belt power for fashion machines. It's a one-cylinder Rumley, which uh, you very seldom see. Most Rumleys, as you see nowadays, are two cylinders. So this is really a very rare one, a very good one.
be hard to sneak up on somebody with that, wouldn't it be? <laughs> yeah. What is this here? This is an old meat grinder. I mean, meat slicer. Wow. You put you put uh, big pieces of meat in here, and you start this thing up. And then this thing, this is a slicer. This thing keeps going around and around, and this wheel keeps turning. You can put this up and down, and that slices the meat. Huh. We started publishing the Draft Horse Wall Calendar 40 years ago. It quickly became a holiday tradition for families to give and receive our calendars. Many tell us it wouldn't be Christmas if there wasn't a Draft Horse calendar under the tree. We've always found the best, most interesting photos showing a variety of draft horse breeds put to a wide range of tasks from threshing oats, making hay, logging hardwood, and performing before appreciative crowds. This year is no different, and the quality hasn't changed either. They cost $16.95 each, postage paid, and prices go down as you buy more. Give us your gift list and we can send them on your behalf. Visit www.ruralheritage.com to order or call toll-free 877-647-2452. That's ruralheritage.com or 877-647-2452. We got an old hoe in one time, a big heavy hoe, and it had three notches in the handle. And he, the guy asked me, do I know what those three notches are for? I said, no. He says, that's, that's how many snakes I killed. Every time I killed a snake, I put a notch in the handle. This, this is a, a, log, a log barn from here over there. The, all, the whole barn was out of logs. And the top, the top log is 60 feet long. And that's what holds the whole thing together. It's one, 60 one, feet. 60 foot log on top. Here's, 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 uh, here's the barn we bought. We bought this barn. Uh -huh. And then we tore it down. And uh, here, here, here you can see the barn being torn down. And this, this is all the, the beams that are... From the outside, you don't see the skeleton. No. It looks just like any barn that's fallen down, but that skeleton is Here, gorgeous. Here's a better picture of it. You can see it when it was partly, partly built. Here, see, here's all the logs. Yeah, look at that. Now, when we bought it, this was full of hay here, and his manure spreader and his, and his uh, wagon were setting in here, sure. and, and this over here was full of hay. And then underneath, the, underneath were the cows. You milked cows underneath. Right, yeah, I saw the picture of the yeah. boys milking. Yeah, see, now this, we, the second floor here we put in so we could make use of it. But th right, this, right. Was, this was one big opening for hay. And then we put this second floor in so we could use it. You now these were the floors. This was the floor that was in here. These are the uh -huh. floorboards. Yep, yep. Yeah. Yeah, we saved every piece. Well, this was before my time, but we saved every piece, like the, the tin that was on the barn well, that's in the lobby. The, you used square nails. Oh, well, yeah, probably, nails. yeah, back in those. There's square nails. Oh, there, it would, yeah, we used to make it look more original. Yeah, right, right. That's one of the things you look for in an old building. And, uh, nails. of course, when they, yeah, originally there were logs all the way across there, but then when they put a track in yeah. to take in the hay, they had to cut these out so they could bring the hay over. Yeah, and this is a trough that the cows, you know, eat of, and they pull the hay, you know, pull the hay through here, and you can see how they're how they're worn down. Yeah. This is all part of the same barn, and here's where they tied them fast, you know.
Yeah, I don't remember exactly where we got the wagon, but... It's a beauty. Yeah, it's a nice yeah, old yeah. wagon. It's old yeah. wagon. Well, there's a corn planter, a dual corn planter. You don't often see a dual corn no, planter. No, you sure don't. Out there, I'm not quite sure. Well, that's just to dig a hole, or if that was something special. I... Yeah, right. It looks like a post hole digger, but it doesn't look like it would work very well. No, so I no. don't wonder what that's for. Yeah. yeah. But it sure looks like it was used a lot. That handle yeah. was very worn. Hi, I'm Joe Mishka of Rural Heritage Magazine. I'm on location of one of the many events we cover that celebrates our rural heritage. If you enjoy our show, check out our magazine, where you'll learn more about the people that blend the past with what works today. You can save almost 20% off the newsstand price by subscribing at ruralheritage.com or chat with us at 877-647-2452. That's toll free, 877-647-2452. When we built this new building, we had that empty space up there. We were going to put some antiques up there. We didn't know what. And so one day an Amishman came in and said, I have just what you need to put up there. I says, what's that? He says, it's a thrash machine. I said, a thrash machine? Why would I want a thrash machine up there? Well, we sort of left it go, and I, I wasn't really interested. A couple of months later, he came back again, and he says, you know, that thrash machine should be up there. And... Uh, so I went out and uh, looked at it, and it was a nice thrash machine. He was still using it. He wanted a bigger one, and uh, did some measuring and found out that if we changed a few things, if you'll notice the, the wheels of the thrash machine hang over it, and the reason they hang over it, I couldn't put the wheels on top because it didn't have room, so we took the back wheels off and left the front ones hang over, so it just fit in there. I uh, had no idea I was going to put the thrash machine up there, but it's been a very good thing. People appreciate that. And uh, this farmer comes in and looks at it and, sh and shows his friends about his old washing machine, in the, I mean, a thrashing machine. In the meantime, he got a bigger one and he's still thrashing at home. And he's happy and I'm happy. Uh, right. Those are blinders. Yeah. yeah. All those things are, are hooked together. The ring there and there's two other things with springs on them and that, that all belongs together. Well, those are to go on the nose of yeah. the cattle. Yeah, bull, bull. Yeah, the, bull. Okay. That's the bull leader there. Right. And that's the bull blinder. Okay. And, and, and that other one's a bull leader, too. I've never seen a blinder like that. Yeah. Huh. That is rare. Yeah. Did you have to do any work to it? Or a little bit, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, I, I had to do uh, redo the axles and the wheels. And when the first uh, electric lights came out, people didn't quite trust them. So they put kerosene lights on them, too. So it's got kerosene or electric. They're all set, no matter what happens. But neither of them, neither of them are very good. I bet that's hot. Huh. Not much different from a car 20 years ago, 30 years ago. Maybe, 30 years, yeah. Before they started getting all computerized. Huh. This is a starter. This yeah. is the starter, and this is the horn, fan belt. Yep. English uh, telephone booth. Uh, one time when I was in London, we used to buy a lot of things out of England. And one time when I was in London, I saw this thing out in the garden someplace, and I asked the guy if he wanted to sell it. Yeah, he'd sell it. And so we, 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 I bought it, and we had containers coming out of England at that time. So we just put it in one of our containers, and it came over here. And it's, uh, I, I think nowadays you're not even allowed to export these in Canada anymore. I mean, in London. Uh -huh. they wanna, there's so many of them been taken out, but they, they want to sure. keep them. Right. And you're not right. allowed. To, it's, it's cast iron. It's very heavy. Nowadays, you see some, but they're often fake ones, often right. made in the state. But this is a real, original English telephone booth. My father and my uncle used to do a lot of ditching. And they had uh, the scoop there is where they cleaned out the ditches. And uh, the, uh, the other, the one, the one with the hook on it, is how they put the tile down in the ditch. Yeah. Double tub wooden washer, again, back in its days, this was probably the Cadillac and washing yeah. machines. Yeah. What I like particularly is this, woman's friend. <laughs> and it has double wash, a double ringer. You have a ringer for this one and a ringer for this one. And, and 
and you can uh, operate just this or just this by the controls on the back. And you put an engine on here, yeah. spin it, so it could wash your clothes and ring. Oh yeah, and these lights. This here is a kerosene, kerosene light, and it was it came out of a church. And what was you could do, you'd pull this thing down. It's got uh, springs on it. You pull it down, put kerosene in, and light them. Then you push it back up again. And that's a gas one. Uh -huh. And then these are all just the old electric ones. And the, the jail, this was a jail that came from uh, Somerset, Pennsylvania. That was their original jail. And those guys' this pictures on there where there were criminals that were originally in that jail. And those were the beds, you know, that we used for, oh, yeah. uh, for tabletops. tabletops. Yeah. But that was the actual bed that they had to yeah. sleep on. This is a logging, those are logging yeah. wheels. A big wheel, yeah. yeah. Used to uh, use it to pull out stumps too, and to take out big logs. Yeah, it really gets the butt end up high. Yep. When you uh, have put pipes in the ground and you have flanges on them and you bolt them together and then every so often you put a valve in there so that you can shut the, and the valve comes down in like this at a taper. And then that there machine here, here different sizes are to resurface the, the, the seats. So when the valve comes down there, it resurfaces this so it shuts off right. So it sits in a groove. Yeah. That's uh, for a water, water pump. That's the same thing as here. Yeah. So you put that on a, on a pulley and it runs around, brings up a bucket of water every time it goes around. First one is a, a brand new Maytag, where one of the very last Maytag ringer washers they made. It's never been used. And the second one is a brand new Dexter double tub. Never been used either. Never got sold, probably? No, we kept, it, we kept the last one we, we had. Okay. Same thing with the uh, Maytag there, we kept the last one we had. First one is a gas Detroit drill stove, that's a gas stove. The next one is a wood burning stove. The next one's a wood burning. The next one's a wood burning. The last one's a kerosene cook stove. That first white one over there is a ice box. Okay. Made here in ice Yeah, it is. It is made here in Kidron. Okay. Kidron body used to make that. The top door you put a hundred pounds of ice in, and the bottom is a refrigerator. And the next white one here is a kerosene, a kerosene refrigerator. And over there's one of the first electric ones. Oh, no kidding, okay. Oh, the coil is up on top. Yeah, yeah. Does that have baffling in that, that where the stovepipe comes up? There's that round? No, that's the oven. That's the, that's the oh. oven. You can bake oh, in that one. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Huh. And there's a pipe goes off the top again, and you can at least keep things warm in there. In some cases, sure. I think you could actually so bake. The pipe, the pipe keeps going. Yeah, it goes around it. There's it's no, double, there's it's no smoke that no, goes under the food. No, it's, right. uh, it's double all, all the way oh, around. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. So the, the, the smoke, it down the and smoke it goes all the way around and heats the center, which you can use as an uh, oven. That's smart. That would hurt your draft. Though. It would, yep. I love all these antique stovetops. Yeah. That is a lot of chrome, isn't it? Yep. That's if you were a Cadillac buyer, you'd want to buy that one. That's a water heater. That's a water heater. Yeah, there's a there's a flame, uh, there's a burner under there, and the heat goes up in the middle, and it gets those coils hot. Okay. All right. What's this? This looks like a this little car. Well, that's a, to uh, pick up uh, heating stoves, these, like these heating. A cook oh, stove, hooker stove. No you, put, kidding. you put it under a cook stove, then you lift it up. Yeah, that's how you move the heavy cook stoves. Huh, that's terrific. 
uh, people come in and enjoy, and it, it's not that I collect one particular thing. I have just a variety of everything, and that's because I'm not really collecting one particular thing. I'm basically collecting what people bring in, what people think might be interesting to have. And so I have a wide variety of things. I have, I have quite a few things that nobody seems to know what they are, and those are always interesting because they, I've had a lot of people tell me what they think they are. In some cases, it's, it's believable. In some cases, I know it's not right, but, uh, but I, uh, I still have quite a few of them that I probably should send in some place, send a picture into some magazine and see whether, sure. whether somebody might know what they are because I don't know what they are. Sure. Well, we could do that in my magazine. Yeah. This is just to demonstrate. Uh, cream. This comes out of a cream, cream separator. Okay. This is how a cream separator works. This comes out of a washing machine. This thing goes goes up and down and around. It washes your clothes. And these are air horns that uh, need, need the air, you know, to blow them. Yep. They all make a different sound. It's like a potato plow? It probably, yeah, uh, yeah. And the side, with the, side with a cradle. Yep, with the cradle on it, yeah. Air curler, yeah. <laughs> What women will do for, for us men. Yeah. An axle uh, jack. An axle jack. Yeah, that's right. Okay, how about this though? What's that? I didn't mean for this to turn into a. What's this? I didn't mean for this to turn into a contest. To oh, <laughs> okay, yeah. I have no idea what it is. I don't have any idea. These things turn. I was supposed to. Yeah. Thanks for joining us today at Rural Heritage and RFD TV, where we borrow from yesterday to do the work of today. This program is available for purchase. To order your copy, please call 319-362-3027 or visit www.ruralheritage.com. Rural Heritage is a bi-monthly magazine dedicated to draft animal farming and logging as well as other aspects of our rich rural heritage. It is published by Mishka Press, which also offers a complete line of back-to-the-land books, DVDs, and calendars. Call or write for a catalog or subscription information. Or visit our website at www.ruralheritage.com.